the great American university. For some, it's the route to riches. For others, a path to the endless party. But for many students, it's a time to broaden one's mind and begin to shape the world we live in. University has always been a crucible for social change and reform. And we see that today, students are standing up against the occupation of Tibet, the massacres in Darfur, and the war in Iraq. But there is one issue that seems to evoke more passion and hostility than any other. I think the situation on campus generally is a deteriorating one. This is for my grandfather, Amandala! Is it Amandala! Is it The college campus is the battleground for and against uh, Israel and uh, Jewish interests around the country. It isn't a joke. It's not just about people trying to say, here, look what's going on in the Gaza Strip. It's about taking the Middle East war and bringing it to campus in an intellectual framework that didn't really allow for freedom of speech. We Palestinians have nothing to dialogue about with Zionists. Very often, the efforts to, the more extreme efforts to discredit Israel on the college campus are nothing more than an outlet for good old-fashioned anti-Semitism. In a, new, in, a, in a new war. I happen to like Natan Sharansky's definition of when it becomes anti-Semitic. He talks about the three Ds. If you delegitimize a country, if there's a double standard about that country, and if you demonize a country, that is anti-Semitic. It's delegitimization of Israel, someone who claims that Israel doesn't exist, and for someone who claims that the entire country should be Palestine. Israel, Israel really doesn't meet the requirements of a legitimate state. Criticizing Israel's military policies is by far okay by any standards, but the, the thin red line is when you start to question Israel's existence. Hey, hey! Well, thank you. Oh, oh. Thank you. Hey, the Israel, we have to go! Hey, hey! I gotta oh, oh! If history is any indication, there'll be peace when you're gone and when we're in control again. When you talk about dissolving the nation state or destructing the nation state, that is anti-Semitism because at that point you no longer are talking about helpful critiques and criticism of how to improve that country but how to get rid of that country and no other nation state is held in that um, manner. But it's acceptable to talk about no longer having Israel as a homeland for the Jewish people. Zionism must be destroyed. It must be gotten rid of. Every aspect of it. You have a double standard where other countries are, are doing terrible things, human rights abuses, but only Israel, the finger points to only Israel, so there's this, this double standard. And demonization, when Israel is accused of behaving like a demon, uh, shooting children in the backs, that is anti-Semitic. They stage in die-ins and they act as if they are Gazans who are being attacked by Israel. And this is in the middle of campus, so the average person walking by obviously sees it and they don't always question it, so they automatically see Israel as the oppressor. Recently, in a free newspaper on campus, we found cartoons that basically portrayed Israelis as Nazis in the full Nazi uniform, shooting at Palestinians in a trench. It's despicable, and it's, it's, it's terrible that this stuff's going on, and, and it really affects Jewish students. Jewish students see these things, and they think, where am I? What, is, this, is this 1939 Germany? No, I mean, we're in 21st century universities. It's, 
Unbelievable. Israel, Israel, you can hide. We charge you with genocide. The question is, how do you get, how do you get people to hate Israel? And um, however they do that, however they can do it, they will do it. Apartheid, colonialism, occupation, racism, massacre, holocaust. We know these aren't true. We know that Israel's not an apartheid state. Zionism is not racism. That Israel is not a new Nazi. We know that, but we have to be able to express that, articulate it, and teach others how to do so.